Hi, I'm Bill the Piano Tuner. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to start our series on setting key height and key dip. The first thing we have to do is prepare the piano for the job. This involves taking parts of the piano off. To level the white keys, we need several tools. We need a 48 inch carpenter's level, we need key props, and we need different size paper punchings. This is a machinist rule. It has a slider. Now, if you look down here at the bass keys, what you do is you pick the highest key, the one that wasn't played as much. You set this slider so that it goes from the key bed to the top of the key. Now, after you do that, you set the screw here so that when you put this on, it holds the key at the height you measured. When you're done setting the key height in the base, you do the same thing at the top of the piano. This is our carpenter's level. You take the carpenter's level and place it on the two keys that you set in the base and the upper treble. I have this set up so that you can see what it looks like when keys are too high. You tilt the carpenter's level up and press it down. See how the keys are going down? That would mean that the key level is too high. Now to check for keys that are low, you tap on the bottom of the key. Hear that knocking? That means that the key is too low, which means you have to add paper punchings to the balance rail. Now when adding paper punchings, because of the angle of the key, whatever you put on the balance rail is magnified by the angle. So put a smaller size paper punching first. If you need to add, you can always add. You set up the black keys the same way you did the white keys with the key prop. Then you use the level in the same manner. The only difference is to find low keys, you have to pull up on the black keys to see which ones are low. That's what I have for you today. And until next time, I'm off to tune pianos where I'll be perfecting each note one key at a time.